river dance. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. In this video we are going to be reviewing River Dance, which is actually a pretty deep and enjoyable animation adventure movie that has some pretty shocking, heartbreaking and heartwarming moments in there. Now to be honest, I was a little bit apprehensive before watching this movie as I didn't know what to expect, but actually I was really pleasantly surprised and thought it was actually pretty awesome. I mean, it has everything that you would want an animation movie adventure to have in terms of having incredible animation, some awesome character transformations, loads of lessons learned and some powerful moments in there as well. So actually it's got quite a lot to offer and I cannot wait to break it down for you in this movie review. So from a storyline point of view, a tragic event takes place which then leads the protagonist and lead character Keegan to go on a bit of a magical journey into the world of the Megalosaurus Giganteus where he learns some really valuable lessons and how to celebrate life. Now this movie is based on the popular stage show, except this time it's being reimagined into an amazing animation adventure movie. Now from a positive point of view, like I said before, I wasn't sure what to expect from this movie, but actually it really does pack a punch and really does shock you. And at the same time, it's actually really, really funny as well. It also has the brilliant magical moments in there in terms of taking you onto this fantasy journey with the characters and actually not only do they go on a really magical journey in this film but actually they really transform from where they are in the beginning of the film to where they are at the end of the film which is really really cool and like I said before as well there are loads of lessons that the different characters learn and actually speaking of which there are some brilliant voice actors in this film as well so lots of positives in this movie however from a negative point of view you can see that certain moments are a little bit childish and they don't actually show on screen some of the more gruesome scenes but you know, that being said, I still think that there's something in there for adults to enjoy as well. Whilst it is a little bit more catered towards kids, actually all ages can enjoy this film as well. So from a storyline point of view, like I said before, it definitely packs quite a punch. So from a cast and character point of view, when you look at the surface of this movie, you might think it's just a bit of a musical movie, but actually it really does have deep character transformations and the brilliant voice actors in this film as well. So let's go through them one by one. So first up we have lead character Keegan, who is voiced by Sam Hardy. And it's really interesting from this character's point of view, as in the beginning, he's a little bit of a happy-go-lucky child, and then suddenly has a lot of grief that he has to go through. And whilst he's dealing with this grief, he has to lead a certain situation whilst having a lot of burden placed on his shoulders. So actually this character has a lot to deal with and they communicate it really well, not only from this character's journey point of view, but also through the magical fantasy elements in this film as well. We then have the main villain in this film who is the Huntsman, voiced by Brendan Gleeson. And he's a bit of a legendary villain, so you don't know whether or not he exists or whether or not he doesn't exist because all you've heard about him from is through the fable. So the Keegan character is a little bit unsure in the beginning, but then when this character does make his presence known, he actually does some pretty shocking things. And is actually really manipulative as well. So from a villain's point of view, this character actually does quite a lot and is only able to be shown if the lighthouse is switched off, which I think is a really interesting concept. Next up, we have the big voice actor in this film who is played by Piers Brosnan. And he actually voices two of the characters, so the granddad and the leader of the Megalosaurus Giganteus, and actually two of the big moments that happen in this film are obviously happening from the Piers Brosnan character's point of view. And then finally we have the Moya character who is the friend of Keegan and is also the Sage of Wisdom to him as well as she is the one that guides him to this magical world in the first place and is definitely his partner in crime as well. There are also some other really hilarious Irish characters in this movie as well, but overall from a cast and character point of view is actually pretty awesome. So from a visuals point of view, you can definitely tell that this is a modern day animation movie as the animation style honestly looks absolutely incredible. You can definitely tell that they've spent a lot of money to make the animation look really, really cool. And actually it's a really, really charming movie and the visuals definitely do come alive. It's very, very Irish at certain points, which I think is great because you definitely feel immersed into the island world, but then suddenly it turns into this magical adventure which also looks absolutely incredible. All of those moments are truly captivating and so from a visual point of view overall, it is very cinematic and pretty awesome in Riverdance. So from a comparison point of view, it definitely feels like it's got two attributes. So it's got the musical aspects 
from the Disney catalogue, but it's also got the heart-wrenching moments from the Pixar catalogue, which makes this movie really, really cool, and as such, I feel like you can definitely compare it to The Lion King, Raya the Last Dragon, of course Madagascar, Dragon Rider, and Soul as well, and so from a comparison point of view, I think this movie is definitely in really great company, and there's also a really great new animation addition in this awesome genre. So overall, I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised by Riverdance. I didn't know what to expect from it, and I thought it was actually pretty awesome by the end of it. I think you can also compare it to the stories that J.K. Rowling says about Harry Potter. Obviously, it's got the brilliant wizardry in there, but at its core, it's a story about grief, and you get to see how different characters actually deal with this, which I would also say is definitely prevalent in the Riverdance film. And so for all of those reasons, I have to give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.